One question we get asked all the time, two of my tires still have some tread on them, can I get by with only buying two new tires for my car? At Tire Van, we always recommend replacing all four tires at the same time, especially if you have an all-wheel or four-wheel drive vehicle. But we're realists, and we know that sometimes that's just not possible. So if you decide to replace less than four tires, industry recommendation is to replace your tires in pairs. Buying two tires together ensures that you have identical tread pattern, tread level, and handling characteristics. Uneven tread level, traction, and handling between tires on the same axle can adversely impact your vehicle's suspension, ride quality, and even your safety. So if you decide to replace only two tires, where should you put them? On the front or rear axle? Up until about 10 years ago, people thought that the new tire should be put on the front because the extra weight of the engine would cause them to wear faster. However, after extensive research, the tire industry has found that your two new tires should always go on the rear axle, no matter what type of vehicle it is. Why? Bottom line, it's safer. Michelin engineers ran a demonstration we will show you on wet pavement, replacing two tires on the front and rear axles of two identical cars. See the results for yourself in this video produced by Michelin. Two identical vehicles, but with one big difference. On the white car, the new tires are mounted on the rear, and the front tires are half-worn. On the blue car, the new tires are mounted on the front, and the rear tires are half-worn. Sounds like a subtle difference, but watch what happens when we put them on the road. The new tires have deeper tread and will grip the road and channel water more effectively than the worn tires. As the tires move through standing water, and if the tires with the deeper tread are on the front, the rear tires will hydroplane first. If the rear tires lose traction because of hydroplaning, the vehicle will begin to fishtail. This is the vehicle with the new tires mounted on the front. The car is moving at 45 miles per hour, and as you can see, there's standing water on the pavement. Ideal conditions for hydroplaning. See what happens to the rear of the vehicle? The tires have obviously lost their grip. This is far less likely to occur when the tires with the greater traction are put on the rear. If there's any loss of traction on the front tires, the driver will feel it through the steering wheel and then can make the necessary speed and or steering corrections to reduce the likelihood of spinning out of control. In this comparison, with both vehicles traveling at the same speed, which one would you like to be driving? As you can see, the first car with the new tires on the front hydroplanes, fishtails, and spins out. This driver lost control of his car on the wet pavement, creating a very hazardous situation. The second car's front tires hydroplane as well, but the driver feels it and slows down. The rear tires hold the traction better, letting him safely maneuver the car. So remember, if you're only replacing two tires, make sure they end up on the rear axle. Your safety is at stake. Now, if you'd like more information on tire installation and safety, visit tirevan.com today. Thanks for watching.